Hi everybody, how are you guys doing today? You're gonna hear my chair squeak. I need to stop mentioning that because then you guys notice. Um, I'm very new to embossing and I wanted to come on here and share with you guys what I've learned from various people here on YouTube that you can make your own colored embossing powder. All you need is mica powders. Um, from my understanding you can also use eyeshadow pigments. I'm not sure. And my also what I've understood from the research that I've done, and you guys can do your own research, just um, type in how to make your own embossing uh, colored embossing powders. That's what I looked up. There's so many videos out there. Um, the two that I've seen, or the few that I've seen, have used two different methods. One is with mica powder, which I have here, and this is uh, um, Brilliant Yellow number 683 by Jacquard Products. This was sent to me in Happy Mail a few years ago. Um, a few years ago. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, and also I've seen people use... What is that stuff called? I'm going to fall backwards because I'm actually leaning. I mean, kneeling on my chair. Uh, I've seen people use alcohol inks. Like Adirondack alcohol inks. I'm not going to do that today. Because I barely have any clear embossing powder. I need to get back on my chair. So what you're, like I mentioned, what you're going to need is embossing powder. You can use white, I'm, I'm assuming. But I'm going to use clear. And the thing that I like also is that it actually doubles the amount that you have. Uh, which one did I make? I made this one here. This color here. And I used... Um, this color here. Whoops, sorry. Okay, so I have these little containers, empty little containers that I've upcycled. I'm going to move these to the side. So I want a lot of colors in embossing powders. But I'm not going to go spend that money. I have other bills to pay, as we all do. Okay, I'm just going to use a coffee filter. You can see the color residue from the last one I did. I just did one off camera. Also, I'd like to mention that if you'd like to see me test out the embossing powders that we've made, that'll be in the next video I'm going to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get myself some clear embossing powder. This says 10 ml. I guess the there are different grades, which I don't guess. I know that there's different grades of the granules for embossing powder. Um, I also would like to have some UT embossing powder. That that I'm gonna have to keep my eye out on. So I just gonna make I am just going to make two colors. I mentioned this color is brilliant yellow. And you can scoop it out or dust it in like I am. You don't need much. Um, remember, you can add, but you can't subtract. And then let's just mix it up. And the reason I'm using the coffee filter, you can use a little container. You might even be able to mix it in the same container that you're going to pour this in, which I just thought about that right now. So you're going to see that... Let me get you in a little closer. That it kind of balls up, but all that goes away, you just have to continue mixing. I need to hold this down like this. Yeah, I think it would have been smarter if I used the same container and mixed it all in there. We'll do that for the next one. And then I'll w I will sample them out for you in the next video that I have planned. 
So today we're just making the actual powder. I think I'm still going to mix it up some more. Once it's in the container. It might be a little tougher though, so we'll see. You guys figure out where you want to mix them in. Just going to leave that there. Um, for the one that I did earlier, I used these little cups, but these little cups have ridges and I noticed that there was a lot of waste because it went into the ridges and at this moment I don't have the little plastic containers which I could po probably get at um, any taco truck here in Los Angeles so we have yellow and of course because we doubled everything doubled the embossing powder and the pigments we're going to get extra powder and you you don't need a lot so you don't need to mix up a lot unless you want to another thing I found out is that you can emboss with any pigment I think it is any pigment ink dye based ink any dye based ink I'm sorry I don't even know which one no more Dye based ink, maybe? Yeah, I think any dye ba based ink in any color you can emboss with. I thought you needed special embossing um, ink, but it seems like you don't have to. And I'm going to test that out myself. I'm new to, like I mentioned, I'm new to all of this embossing stuff. This one here is. Spark, sparkle Copper from Jacquard. 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 Just going to scoop some in. And like I mentioned, supposedly, I haven't tried it myself. You can add glitter, fine dust glitter, to your mixes also. I'm just going to put one scoop. Wow, that stuff is really, um, really fine. I'm going to have to clean my table off really good. Very nice. And I could probably shake it up some, but I'm trying to break up the little balls. So that's all this video is about, just making your own colored embossing powders with mica powders. I might actually, because I have one jar left right there, I might do a test run with one of the alcohol inks in a second. Okay, so we have that there. Let's cover that up. And what I do is, because I want to make sure I remember that these are embossing powders, I just get my Sharpie and I write embossing. the lid. And I'll do that for the yellow one off camera. We have some we have some mess right here. I'll make sure I get that all off. Okay. Another thing I'm gonna need to make is some cornstarch um, what's it called? We use cornstarch. I don't know what it's used for. Something like to take them. 
I don't really know. I'm not exactly sure what the cornstarch is used for. Like I said, I'm pretty new to it. Spice marmalade. Distress oxide. Okay. So what we want is an alcohol-based ink. Green. What about green? Yeah. Let's just use green. So again, clear embossing powder. I'm not going to put too much. What is that about? Look. Look what's happening here. I guess that's static. That's cool. Maybe that's why you need cornstarch. To get rid of the static. Maybe. I guess rubbing it with This had window cleaner on it. Maybe that was not a good idea. Okay, whatever. Um, Adirondack. Alcohol inks. And to be honest with you, I could never ever find the darn colors on these things. Let's see. Nope. Can't find the colors. Everybody asks and I can never find the colors. Let me shake it up some. You can make it as light or as dark as you like. One, two. I'm just going to use two for now. And then it gets even more um, chunky, but you just work it out. Yeah, so just look up on YouTube how to color embossing powders. And there's quite a few ladies and men that will teach you how to do this. And they're the same people that taught me how to do this. Yep. Because I was never into, I never did the scrapbooking stuff that everybody else has done. I'm not familiar with embossing powders. But now that I want to emboss, you know the best place to go for the resources of learning is YouTube. You can find everything on YouTube. So this here you can see is like a green mossy color. It's really pretty. And because they're alcohol inks, they'll start drying up, but your powder will, your powder will be just fine. And like I mentioned, we'll test these out on my next video. Let me get this a little closer so you guys can see it. So there's that one. And I'll show you the yellow we made. And the blue I did off camera. And then these other ones that I have here, those were gifted to me in Happy Mail. I think I'm more than 100% positive Pop gave me those. Okay, so next video will be playing with all embossing, depending on what color I want to use. So yeah, if you have any mica powders, which I have more mica powders than I actually do embossing powders. So what I want to do is invest in some clear embossing powders so that we can make, and I can make, my own colors. 
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you taught you something, and I just wanted to come on here and share. And now I'm going to go clean up my desk. Oh, another tip. You know, if you wear glasses, they give you a free um, spray for your glasses to clean them. This works really good on glass tables. So I'll catch you guys later, and I don't know, maybe next week I'm going to share with you guys my new table. Not new table, a table I put together husband put together for me. Alright, catch you guys later. Be creative birdies. I'll talk to you later. Bye.